Am I the butthole for telling my mom I don't give a crap what she thinks about using the name I want to use? My mom got married when I, 15 female, was 10. She changed my name to her husband's name so we could all have a family name. I did not want this. I wanted to keep my dad's name and my name since I'd had it for 10 years of my life to that point. But their wants trumped mine and it was a done deal. But I never stopped using my actual last name. My friends all know me by my original last name and I introduce myself to people by it too. The only time the official one gets used is on documentation or a teacher gets all stuffy about using the last name I prefer, and it gets used a lot in school because most of my classes I am one of three with the same first name. My mom and her husband found about it recently because for my birthday a friend mailed a card to me and used the preferred name. My mom was pissed. Her husband tried to lay on a guilt trip saying I had hurt his feelings and broken his heart that I was rejecting not only his name, but also him as a father figure. My mom told me I was selfish and childish to go behind their backs like that. And that it was no longer my name and that I needed to get over it. I told her I didn't give a crap about what she thinks. That it's my name and she never should have changed it in the first place and if she thought that would make me love or accept her husband easier then she was dead wrong and all she did was change something she knew I didn't want to do what they wanted and I wasn't going to go along with it for her. I told her as soon as I turn 18 I'm going straight to court to get it changed back and there isn't a damn thing she will be able to do to stop me. My mom was so freaking pissed. She's been pissed for over two months now and her husband is still trying to make me feel bad about it lol. Some family have told me I should have handled the conversation better which is why I'm posting here. They seem to think I was being too childish in the fight with my mom about it. Am I the butthole? Not the butthole. Your name is your name, and nothing can truly take that away from you. I find it quite weird how fast she wanted you to have her husband's last name, as if she was trying to replace your biological dad with him. You stood your ground on the subject, told her the truth, and told her your future plans. It's either she can suck it up or walk away, you have zero control on what your mother does, so why fret? I wish you the best with your family, and I hope everything gets resolved eventually. Exactly. The part about trying to replace her dad really confused me, like in my opinion I think that is really cruel and unfair that she changed the name, just because he is not around anymore, doesn't mean that your 10 year old child shouldn't have the name they have had their whole life and wants to keep. Edit. Judgment not the butthole at all. It would have done serious damage to her relationship with her stepfather as well which neither of them seemed to understand. He became not just her mother's new husband but the man who stole part of her identity making her resent him all the more. I just don't get all these people who remarry and think they can force their kids to accept the new parent. Like, the harder you force it, the more likely it is that your kid is going to hate the new parent for making such a disruption in their life. Yeah. One of my friend's mom remarried multiple times. She tried to be a little bit forceful for the first stepfather and all the kids ended up not liking him. For the third one she basically didn't care and while the kids were suspicious at first they grew to love him because he was generally pretty chill. Kids, at some age, need to feel they have agency that they are not babies and they can make decisions that affect their experiences. I imagine that being forced to supposedly love someone, by demanding that they acknowledge a replacement father or mother, would be the cruelest rejection of a kid's free will. I get that parents have to start off making all decisions for their children, sometimes including who might potentially be a new dad, but they can't force a person to feel something. Kids are people, like everyone else, who are like horses, you can lead them to water and make them drink it, but you can't make them like it. Or not wish they were drinking milk. Absolutely hitting the nail on the head about personal agency. I come from a blended family, my parents married when I was seven, I was even formally adopted by my new dad. They still asked my permission to change my name. Out of the people I know with step-parents, the ones who get along best with theirs had step-parents who were like, friendly and nice and made an effort to bond with the kids, but let the kids set the pace and boundaries. I'm disappointed in all these people that want to groom their children into being a trophy instead of allowing them to grow into whoever they organically are. Like if you want something to train, get a pet. It's ridiculous. My husband's ex has been married four times and each time her older kids take the new dad's name. When my husband was married to her, he was the second, he said no that they need their father's name. She tried it with his kids and he had custody of them. People are too controlling over this type of thing. 
She probably feels bad she had five kids with four different men. She had six different last names herself, birth, her stepdads and each marriage. Crazy. Every single time I read one of these stories I am forever grateful that I was 16 to my stepmother's 23 when she married my father and that I was married and a mother by the time my mother finally married my stepfather. Up, not the butthole. Or marrying someone your child doesn't like. That confuses me. Yeah, I find it really interesting not only how quickly but also seemingly how easily it was for the mom to change her last name. In most states in the U.S., you need both parents to approve of name changes. Making assumptions with the information given, it seems like the biological dad is completely absent. My guess is the real issue at hand isn't the name, but the role the bio dad plays in their lives. For as much as original poster has an emotional attachment to the name, the mom probably also has an emotional reaction to it too. If the relationship was abusive in any way, I can see the mom really struggling with if slash when you share that with your child. It seems like a really sensitive issue that could have been handled better by both parties. Given original poster is so young, I'd still give a not the butthole for original poster and slight you're the butthole to the mom for not communicating well enough. Apparently, the bio dad passed away so they would have only needed the mom to approve the name change. This makes the situation a thousand times sadder. Oof, that makes it so much crueler of the mom and stepdad, pensive face. It seems like they're trying to unperson the op's father in some way. Now it makes sense. That makes it so much worse because the last name was a gift from the bio dad in a sense to original poster. If so, taking his name away from original poster without considering how she felt about it is just cruel. You can't communicate with people who have no boundaries. Ada, meaning the mom has none. Oh, I'm sure the mom has boundaries. She just doesn't think others should have them. This is 1000%, true and an even better point for this situation in my opinion. What does ETA mean here? I'm old and ETA means estimated time of arrival to me. Edited to add, in this context. She is clearly a classic narcissist TM and sounds like stepdad is too. I hope original poster can leave soon. Such a horrible environment for any child. I have a cousin that's my cousin on both sides of my family. Her dad is my mom's brother and her mom is my dad's niece. Her mom, my cousin, changed her last name to her new husband's last name by putting an ad in the newspaper. She told the court she couldn't find my uncle. The whole time she was actually in constant contact with my uncle, our whole family actually. My uncle had his daughter all the time and both sides of my family lived in the same neighborhood. Now it's years later, she's married to a totally different man and my cousin still has the last name of her ex-stepfather. Agree with not the butthole, however, I find this situation very, curious, info at op, how is it legal to force a 10-year child to change their last name? So he wouldn't need to approve as other comments pointed out. However, I find it hard to believe that a name change didn't require the child's approval. It certainly does where I live, for children older than 5. How does that work where you live? Did your mom coerce you into approving? Did she do it behind your back? If that's possible where you live, that's pretty effed up. Web link. Not the butthole. The thing is your mom remarried someone and she wanted to have the same name as him which is a completely her right. But it's unfair for her to take away your last name because she wants everyone to have the same name. You've had that name for 10 years, just because she changed it on paper doesn't mean that's still not your name. What I don't understand is why women tend to force other men on their children when they're not ready to. And also by forcing, you to take his name makes it even harder for you to have that relationship. Don't feel guilty for something that you want and that you feel is right. Yes, it might hurt their feelings but you have to do what's right for you. I'm really sorry they did that to you honey. Hopefully in a few years, you can change your name back and maybe you can feel whole again. I'm sorry you had to go through that. What I don't understand is why women tend to force other men on their children when they're not ready to men just as often force other women on their kids. This is not a women thing. Oh, I completely understand that. But as a parent wouldn't you look at the child's well-being first before your own? Your kid is telling you no I don't want to change my name and you do it anyways. I would never change someone's name against his or her will, personally. 
I happen to be a woman. When I got divorced, the judge asked me if I wanted to take my maiden name back. I was like, huh? I never took my ex's last name and I never wanted to. Apparently, it was done automatically. I don't understand how it happened, since the only thing I had signed when I got married was the marriage license. I was livid. Had to swallow my intense anger in front of the judge and inform him that yes, I very much wanted to reassume my maiden name. It was such a violation to have that done against my will. But that would be looking out for the child's best interest, which sadly some parents don't quite get the idea of. And then they act all surprised when they don't have a close relationship with their adult children. Honestly such a ridiculous demand, like my mom remarried when I was 13, over 4 years after my dad had passed, and she did not even ask me if I wanted to change my last name to her new husband's last name, because of course I didn't. She knew I wouldn't want that and didn't press it at all. Ops mom is horrible. I wish other people could understand that a name that isn't your own was never yours to begin with, and no amount of telling someone, you'll always be underscore to me will change that. I wasn't asking your permission, I was giving you a heads up. Your name is like a gift. If you don't, like a gift, you get, or it no longer serves you, it is yours to get rid of it. If you give a gift, it is no longer yours after you have given it to another person and they can do whatever they choose with it. My bio father was abusive. I haven't spoken to him in almost 13 years. And yet after the divorce my mother chose to keep our names the same because we deserved a bit of normalcy. She asked our opinions, of course, but we were proud of our Irish names and kept them. Plus my brother's name is the same as my mother's maiden name. So. Names are important to people, original poster is not the butthole. Hopping onto top comment to say that her family also told her to stop acting childish? Like WTF tell the mom to stop. Original poster is 15. She's not an adult yet and Imho, the mother and step F, that F there does not stand for father but it's a word similar to mucker, are acting way worse. Original poster is not the butthole. My mother got remarried when I was 12, gave me the opportunity to change my last name and when I said no that was it and no more asking. She ended up with a hyphenated last name, old last name, new last name, so that we could still travel the country and not have legal issues. I would have never forgiven my mother if she changed my last name. Not the butthole, Ops mom should have asked 5 years ago and stopped when original poster didn't want to have the name change. Lol this made me think of the wire. My name is my name. Personally, this reminds me of Roots. The part when the slave is insisting that his name is Kunta Kinte, his original name in Africa, and the slave master is whipping him and yelling, No. Your name is Toby. Not the butthole. I don't get the mentality that everyone having the same last name is supposed to be a bonding experience. My mom never took either of her husband's names. We don't have the same last name as my mom. My little, half, brother has a different last name than us older siblings. We're still family even though there are three different last names among all of us. Four when counting my stepmom and stepbrothers. Not the butthole. Names matter. And accusing you of behaving childishly when you are still a child is just silly. You're acting like a child. I am a child, what's your excuse? You're acting like a child. I am not acting. Sir Patrick Stewart, impressive. Sir Patrick Stewart, mild shock. I would give you an award if I could. Instead, take my upvote. You know that's right. I understood that reference. Take my upvote for that reference. R slash unexpected Steven Universe, Reddit link. It needs to be listed in top animated shows more, truly felt like a manga. I was very surprised when I watched the show at how much I enjoyed it. I was watching with my granddaughter and I think I liked it as much as she did. I see the reference, I like it. That sounds, Familiar, why is this so familiar? Familiar, like something I used to know. Nice use of a Steven Universe quote. Wow, this might be the first time I've ever seen Steven Universe referenced on Reddit. Congratulations. Then you should check out our slash Steven Universe. Reddit link. 
You're acting like a child. I am a childlike doe she need to remind them she is in fact a kid, or does that go over adult's head just because her mother it in a dispute? Like she is a child, even if the manner is an adult manner, her identity, which I certainly think, it isn't like this is her as a person, she prefers her father's last name still as hers and her mother is trying to intact not only unwanted but unneeded change, not the butthole. That's the problem with being a teenager. People expect you to be responsible like an adult and stop acting like a child but still, you know, treat you like a child. It was done with me and I try very hard not to do it to my own teenage son. He's got more responsibilities and more privileges commensurate with his age but he's a teenager. I treat him like a teenager and expect him to act like one. He's not a small child anymore but neither is he an adult. I'll expect him to act like an adult when he is one. Not to mention this whole thing is a demonstration of original poster's mom acting childishly. And the thing is she's not even acting childish she has every right to be pissed. I wouldn't want my name changed either. Not the butthole. They changed your freaking name against your will. That's butthole move right there. That said, I'd suggest a different strategy. Talk to your stepdad. Tell him you care about him and you don't mean to reject him. But also tell him that having your legal name changed against your wishes is something you have always resented, and will always resent. Tell him that while you might have at some point been willing to change your name as you warmed up to him, you weren't given that choice, you were forced. And so rather than being a pleasant part of creating a new family, your name became a painful wound every time you have to write your own legal name it's a reminder to you that both your mom and your stepdad care more about the appearance of their family unit to others than about you or what you want. Stress that this isn't about him or your relationship with him it's about you and your right to decide for yourself. Make an analogy take his favorite food, he likes eating it by himself. But if someone tied him down and shoved it down his throat in great quantities when he wasn't hungry, pretty soon he'd never want to eat that food again. And so it is with the name you aren't wanting to change because you don't like him, you want to change because it was forced upon you and thus is now a painful thing every time you see it. And if they would get out of their lovey dove bubble for a minute and pay attention to the fact that you are an independent person with your own emotions, they'd realize that this has done you real harm and the sooner you can change it back the better for the benefit of both yourself and your relationship with them. Amazing analogy, parents tend to oversee their children's opinions or dismiss them as spoiled behavior, even if the kid's perspective is more objective, simply because they're young. Age doesn't necessarily determine rationality. This is perfect. Spot on, well said. Also not the butthole. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.